Good morning, Tyant. Today is Friday, October 10th. I'm Jamie Hughes. And I'm Stephanie Alaniz. We've got a jam-packed show for you today. From the football game blowouts to the new campus banners and all the information you need to know about homecoming, Tyant TV has been working around the clock to bring you all of the campus news. So let's get right to it. Waving around the school, the new banners on the light poles bring a new definition to Titan pride. Reporters Isaiah Weatherford and Alex Bittner bring you the story. I am respectful. I am responsible. I am proud. I am a Titan. All around campus, students are reminded of the true characteristics of a Titan. The banners found on the light post around campus have promoted positivity, compassion, and respect. The banners are more than just a new piece of artwork for students to admire because their message is what is really important. Last year we developed a Titan Pride team on campus. Um, we talk about what it means to be a Titan. Um, Mrs. Patton's done a phenomenal job with our student culture here. She built, she, um, this school has been here for seven years and we have an awesome culture. Students are respectful, they're proud. Um, so we wanted to really come up with some adjectives, some describers, some descriptors of what it really means to be a Titan. And so we talked to students, we talked to staff, we actually talked to parents. And we had a lot of words that they talked about. They said, they were, they said words like spirited, um, like respectful, proud, um, responsible. So we basically honed it down to three words, um, proud, respectful, and responsible. And we want to make that a school-wide initiative. And so what we want to do next, since we have it out um, in the quad, uh, we want to actually make sure it's consistent in the classrooms. So our next step is to actually talk with the teachers and staff uh, and to try to find out some specific behaviors that demonstrate pride, that demonstrate responsibility, and that demonstrate respect in the classrooms. Titan Pride is something big going on on campus. Students are encouraged to live as a Titan and truly be leaders on campus, creating a positive energy here for this generation and for many to come. The best part, I think, is there are our own students' pictures up there, and so there are people, alumni or current students, who are part of what we do here. And I think it's really cool to be a Titan, and the three words that represent Titan are respectful, proud, and responsible. And so we took those signs and those terms, and all of our class shirts also relate to them. So I think it's just really cool when you're walking around campus, you look up and you're like, yeah, I am a Titan. I am proud. And especially with Homecoming Week coming up, be proud to be Titan because Titans are awesome. And even though these banners do represent something bigger than themselves, it does not take away from how impressive they actually are to see. The creator of these banners was Miss Natalie Robbins. The idea for the banners came from Mr. Guzman and Ms. Cook. They had approached me before about, hey, we really like to have some banners on campus. Um, would you be interested in designing them? I'm like, sure, what's some ideas? So they showed me some ideas they, they found from, I think, Fullerton and Southern California. And I looked at it, and then how I designed is I, I ponder it for a couple of days, and then I come up with some ideas, and I showed them some proofs, and from there, they chose what they liked, and I want to incorporate a lot of, like, Titan photos. So with all the hard work that went into making the banners, are they actually working? Have the banners actually stood out to the students here and already started to make an impact? The banners are pretty cool because they, um, they add a sense of character to our campus. Um, for the past few years, it's been pretty plain, and now with the banners, there's, um, pe people who have gone here are now incorporated in the campus. The banners look super nice, and every time I see them, it reminds me of what Titan Spirit actually means. Uh, these banners at the school, they really inspire me to get through the day every single day. They make me proud to be a Titan. I gotta say so, man. Respect, pride, and responsibility are all the characteristics of a true Titan. The administration hopes all these behaviors are on the rise and wishes to see the sense of compassion on campus skyrocket. And it all could have started with a little banner. Isaiah Weatherford, Titan TV News. The varsity boys football team traveled to Oakmont last Friday, defeating the Vikings 42 to nothing. The boys are on the road again tonight when they travel to Roseville for a 7 p.m. game. Reporters Charles Lemon and Kyle Swanigan talked to People of the Planet about their upcoming event. So for People of the Planet Club, for the month of October, we're doing an awareness campaign about walking to school because October is a national walking month. So if you want to go and walk to school, be sure to take a picture of yourself and we have an Instagram page that you can share it on. So the Instagram is called AHS Walks to School, and you guys can just take a selfie with your friends on the way to school, tag us at AHS Walks to School, and we'll feature you on the page. The speech and debate team traveled to Wood Creek High School for the first individual event tournament of the season on Saturday. 18 of the 26 Titans made it into the finals with our very own anchor, Kyle Swanigan, placing first in impromptu reporters Charles Lemon, talked to junior Kim Weaver to learn more about the tournament. 
This Saturday we had our first speech competition and it was just an amazing success and we were able to see all of our first years just do so well with all their pieces and to see all their hard work and dedication pay off. We also had a lot of successful second years just go up and be able to do very well in their rounds. It was just a great way to start off our season and to be able to succeed as a team and as a group. In addition to Homecoming Week, Spirit Week starts on Monday. The theme this year is TV Networks. Get your science on for Monday's Big Bang Theory Day. Rep your favorite college on Tuesday with College Game Day. Wednesday is the night rally, so wear your PJs for TV Binge Day to earn class points at the free event. On Thursday, everyone is royalty, so wear your ties and tiaras. And finally on Friday is the homecoming rally, so wear your class colors. Now over to Haley Brooks with the ASB Minute. Good morning Titans, I'm Haley Brooks and this is your ASB Minute. Homecoming week starts on Monday. For senior homecoming royalty, you can vote for one senior boy and one senior girl at both lunches on the stage through Thursday. Homecoming Powder Puff game is on Tuesday at 7 p.m. in the stadium for $3 with ASB and $5 without. Come show your class support. The annual night rally is on Wednesday at 8 p.m. with no cost to get in. Come see special performances by cheer and dance. Skits and backdrops will also be showcased by student government. The homecoming dance is next Friday at 9 p.m. after the football game. Tickets will be on sale all week at the student store or student services window for $5 with ASB and $7 without. Make sure to buy your tickets now or they will go up for $10 at the door. Don't forget to come to Student Government's annual sidewalk march next Friday at 5.30 p.m. to show your class support and walk into the tailgate at 6 p.m. before Friday's game. Now back to Jamie and Stephanie. For the past six years here, the homecoming dance has been the final closure to the homecoming week, Friday after the football game. Madison Carter and I bring you a story on the purpose of our tradition of the casual attired dance and the true reason for homecoming week. It's that time of the year again when high schools all over the district welcome back their alumni. Homecoming week kicks off Monday and student government has been working really hard to bring you a full week of festivities. In addition to the homecoming dance, student government also produces a spirit week, powder puff game, a night rally, class backdrops, a tailgate, a sidewalk march, halftime show, red zone, alumni reception, and a day rally for the entire student body that no other school in the district does. Well, the actual goal of homecoming is to create a place where people want to come home to. Homecoming is not totally about all the students that go to Antelope High School right now. It's, it's about alumni. And the cool part about homecoming is when you're a student during homecoming, your job is to create all the fun moments and memories. So when you do graduate, you want to come back or come home to Antelope High School. At Antelope High School, it's not about all the glitz and the glam and all the fancy stuff. It's all about creating a sense of place and a sense of home. And all the events we do all week creates a fun environment that people want to be here and come home to. So it's really cool. Wood Creek High School offers its students a semi-formal homecoming, but unlike Antelope, it does not offer a semi-formal winter ball dance. My name is Zoe Anderson, and I was Wood Creek's 20th homecoming queen. It's kind of just the ribbon on top of the present of homecoming week. Um, it's really cool to see everyone dressed up and um, get together and be unified in one place. I had a blast. It was really fun. The dances all put together, like, it's in a nice, it's in the gym, and it's very fun. There's a lot of people there, and they all have, like, a great atmosphere there and there's no one like giving trouble or anything. It's just a lot of fun and a lot of stuff to do and it's just awesome. Other than Granite Bay, Antelope is the only other school in the district that offers a casual homecoming dance and guest passes. The concept of the casual homecoming dance is more cost efficient with tickets no more than $10. The dance is also a safe place for students to have fun after the homecoming football game in the cafeteria on campus. I'm really tired of getting the um, question and the complaint of how come Antelope High School is not semi-formal. Uh, because after seven years, I feel like people should have bought in already because what we do is, is right and it's fun. So I'm, I'm really excited for that because it's like a different opportunity to see like how both of them react, like going to a formal one and a casual one. Like it's going to be fun just to see the, how people react and just how much people have fun at two different types of dance. Still, students have opposing opinions on whether the homecoming dance should be semi-formal or casual. I believe homecoming should be semi-formal because sophomores and freshmen only have like one chance to really like dress up and I feel like other, other schools have semi-formal homecomings also. I don't know, I just feel like people, I mean, it's fun dre dressing up with like friends and everything. I feel like we should have like a beginning of the school year dance. I don't think it should matter if you dress up or not at the dance because even though you're not dressing up, it wouldn't take away from the dance experience and it still be a fun 
good time. Well, one of the reasons why we have a casual homecoming is because throughout homecoming week there's um, a variety of events that we ask students to pay for, um, including powder puff, um, concessions at the night rally, and anything else that kind of goes on during that week. Um, so our intent is to make the tickets affordable and make it an event that is accessible to every student because um, we want everyone at homecoming because it really is a school unifying event and we don't want students to have to have the burden of paying for dinner or dresses or anything of that sort. Um, so it's really just to bring everyone together after the game. Most kids that wish it was semi-formal have never come to our casual event and seen how fun it really is. What we're asking people to do this year is to just come try it out. Say yes to the tutu instead of say yes to the dress. Each member in student government puts in over 65 hours of work to bring you a homecoming week like no other. For Channel 5 Tie-In TV News, I'm Madison Carter. That's all we have for you today, Tie-In. Until next week, have a wonderful day and an even better weekend. Happy, Happy birthday, Isaiah Weatherford! Weatherford.